still in section two of the SAT practice test, number four. A company's profit P in dollars for producing X machines in one day is given by P equals 500X minus 20X squared. If the company produces 10 machines in one day, then according to this formula, what is the profit for that day? So here's our profit formula, 500X minus 20X squared. So it's producing X machines. So they're telling us that the company produces 10 machines in one day, then we know that X equals 10. So now we just need to go back and plug in 10 to this function in order to find the total. So we'll enter this in 500 times 10 minus 20 times 10 squared. And that equals 3,000. So this is going to be $3,000. So our answer is C for number four. All right, number five. What is the average arithmetic mean of the three quantities listed above? So the mean is when you take each term, add them up, and then divide by how many terms you had. So in this case here, here's one term, here's another, and here's the third. This is the three quantities. Sorry, I went through that n right there. Um, so we've got 12 minus n plus 12 plus 12 plus n. And this all needs to be divided by how many terms there were, 3. So now let's just simplify this. 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals 36. Minus n plus n, that's going to cancel out. That equals 0n. So this is just going to be 36 over 3, which equals 12. So our answer is b. OK, number 6. Okay, so an isosceles triangle ABC above, AM and CM are angle bisectors. So I'm going to go ahead and write that these two are the same, and these two are also going to be the same, as this is an isosceles here. Okay, what is the measure of angle AMC? So we're looking for AMC, which is this angle right here. So up here, if you notice, we have this is 40 degrees. I'm going to make that a little darker. So if this is an isosceles triangle, then we can say 180 degrees minus 40 equals 140. And that has to be split evenly between these two total angles here, between angle A and angle C. So as a, without these two splits, we've got 40, and then divide this by 2 equals 70. So each one of these angles down here is 70 degrees. Now each one of these lines are angle bisectors, so that tells us that each one of these has to be 35, because total, it equals 70. So in order to find what angle M is, we can just say, let me skip this down a little bit, 35 plus 35 equals 70, and now we need to find the missing angle, so we're going to say 180 minus 70 equals 110 degrees. So this angle right here that we're looking for is 110 degrees in order to make this triangle 180 total. So our answer here is A, 110 degrees.